Hey everybody, welcome back. We skipped a week because there wasn't a whole lot for us to show, but we are back and have some really cool weekend sales. Once again, things have kind of built up, and as you saw from the title, we've got planes, trains, and rock and roll. What's the rock and roll? We'll get to that. It is our big sale of the day. Fantastic. Um, really set the weekend off. But so many things to go out, about 14 orders in all. And uh, boy, let's just dig right into these. Um, and you know, there's some of these that are break even. Not all of them are a big profit. But overall, there's some pretty good profit to this. We'll start out with this little guy. He's just a little toy dog. And someone uh, spent $4 on him. And it'll look good on somebody's miniature shelf, I'm sure. And we've got some jewelry going out. This is a Liz Claiborne. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it seems like they're not what they used to be. Or they have to be certain pieces to really sell well. But this isn't terrible. It's going out for $5. And when it comes to jewelry, that seems like, you know, pretty close to what we can get. But, honestly, it's a profit because we got these mass boxes of jewelry. And if you pay, pace it out for each one... It's still not terrible. So we don't have to feel bad about that. We do have some more jewelry coming up, but first we've got this dollhouse bedding. Got a little bedroll in there and some blankets. That's pretty cool. And that is going out for $4. We have got some Tupperware here going out. This is kind of a newer age Tupperware. And it's got a, a strainer in it. And a nice bowl. It's a pretty neat little set that we got from uh, buying a person's some of a person's storage unit. And this is going out for nine dollars. And as Tupperware goes, again, that's not bad. We have got a Marvel comic book headed out of here. We've got uh, Spider-Man Annual Number Seven with Black Panther and Ultron and Iron Man. And this comic is going out for $4. We got these comics at $0.50 cents a piece. So, again, not bad. Let's set this down where it won't be totally in the way and I can still grab things. We have got a little arrangement of miniature planes. These are vintage, and if you look closely, you can see in some cases there's little people in them. This one has a crazy paint job. We did sell these once before, and the person decided they weren't the right size for them, so they sent them back, but these four are going out for $16. And they're good for modding. One of them is missing a bit of its tail. Right there. Mm -hmm. But these were all clearly photoed and shown, and so we're gonna carefully wrap those up and have those on their way soon. We have got a Lionel train bank. Now, we're not making a lot off of this one. I spent, I think, $8 on it, actually. I was thinking it was 10 but I think they actually gave me a bit of a discount from their end. And it's going out the door for $7. So there is a loss. Yeah, it's a loss, actually. But you know what? You win some, you lose some. And um, probably should have looked closer. It gets a little weird if you're trying to look things up on your phone and people see it. They get odd about it, so I don't do that a lot. So I do take some gambles, but I'm just glad to have it sell. We'll get some money back out of it and it'll be all right. Um, we've got some... Woo! I'm gonna drop one. Vintage, well, vintage to antique almost. Uh... Camels, made by Britons. They're English. We got one that has a little bit of a bend to his leg, mm -hmm. which, of course, I pointed out in the listing. And these guys are going out for $14, which is not bad. We didn't spend a lot on them on an auction. Didn't seem like anybody really wanted them. So I took a chance on them, and I've already got most of the money back. In just two. I've got some elephants and some horses. And uh, 
they are lead composite so really old the paint is pretty worn off but they're still collectible and interesting we got a pokemon card going out Ooh. one of denver sales and it's going out for 32 dollars it's amazing what some of these cards can go for this is from a set called gym heroes so uh if you have these and you have some of the foils, some of them are actually worth a fair amount of money. Let's see, we've got the other set here. We've got some Victorian style earrings. Let's see if I can, they're kind of chandelier style. Mm -hmm. Got some little pink rhinestones. And these earrings are going out for $5. And we've got a record. Peter, Paul, and Mary. And, you know, records are hit and miss. We've had some go out for pretty good money in the 20s, even the 30s. This one is going out for a whopping $4. So, you take them where you can, but we are mostly, in our records, in profit pretty well. Uh, we've got an interesting set of hand-sewn table runners here. I'm not going to get them all out, but you can kind of get the idea here. They're embroidered with... Uh, or hand embroidered probably, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. With flowers and things. Had these for quite a while. We found them in an old suitcase, which was in uh, what we called the throwaway house. And these are going out for $9. Not bad. We've got an Oneida teaspoon set. This is discontinued and definitely vintage. Mm -hmm. Called Autumn Glow. And this set is going out for five dollars. Recently sold, I had a whole. I had what? Eight? No, there were twelve. Of them. Twelve. I had twelve of the full dining set, and those went out for a pretty penny. And we only have one item left for our own Ida, and it's like a set of forks. Um, we've got the Little Mermaid VHS. This is the um, famous, as they called it, Forbidden Art. And you've got to look really, really close. But it actually was not done on purpose. It was an error, as both Disney and the artists say. But you can see that little knob right there? Mm. See that? And that caused a big controversy, so this is a controversial cover. Um, they redid the cover after that, but this is one of the few that remain out there floating around. They're really not worth a lot, and it's Black Diamond. Ooh, that's not worth a lot either. Don't believe people on that. Uh, but this is going out for $4 for a VHS. It's fine. <laughs> really, it's fine. Then, uh, we do have another one that we're not gaining very much on. We spent $10 on this. Let me see if I can get it to open. I'll move that out of the way. Lovely set here mm -hmm. of, uh, is that epoxy and abalone? Epoxy and abalone, yeah. Yeah, beautiful set. Uh, we, put t we bought this for $10 at a yard sale, mm -hmm. uh, thinking, wow, you know, we've got a nice find here. Tried to sell it quite a few times uh, over and repriced it, and we wound up selling it for 12 So, uh, technically that's $2 profit, but after fees and such, it's probably more along the lines of a little bit of loss or break even. But like I said, you win some, you lose some, but how about the big win for today? Are you ready? This thing works, and it works very well. We tested it. I even posted it on my Facebook page. This is a 1980s Panasonic boombox. Tested this. Everything works. It just amazed me. And it amazed my friends that this still works. This is the key component right here. Mm -hmm. If the tape deck still works, that's what makes the money for it. This is going out the door for $140. I got it at a picker sale and probably put less than $5 into it. A picker sale is a glorified garage sale that they have attached to some online auctions. So you get to go in and look around and grab some things. 
and basically it's like five to ten dollars a bag and no one was touching this in one other radio that I think is already sold mm -hmm. um, so I grabbed it and when I looked it up I was right some of these sell for as high as 200 so amazing we're happy to have that going out the door fantastic sales have you seen any nice increase in yours are you starting to bounce back from what we now call the dead zone of after Christmas and you know beginning of the year getting ready to look into second quarter I think pretty soon we're in second quarter now. Where's, see mm -hmm. my brain works so good second quarter starts in um, April oh well there we are so big hopes for that hoping we can keep all this going we've been crashing prices to try and get stuff moving and get some momentum and we're looking for some new stuff to bring on we do have a few new things that are coming so hopefully you'll watch our shop which is wild hail sales i'm the wild flipper and i do hope that you will subscribe hit the bell stick with us on our journey and we will be back for the next flip and ride